What is good everybody? Today we're back with a brand new action figure review and it is a special one. We have this brand new Collegiate Legends Harbinger Studios Alabama football player fully articulated action figure. Now I know it's a little bit different from my channel if you guys are a normal viewer of the channel but I review a lot of action figures on this channel and not only being a massive college football fan or sports fan in general but being from Tuscaloosa and an Alabama fan this just seemed like a figure I had to review. I came across these on social media man and I want to give a huge shout out to Collegiate Legends. Go follow them over there link in the description below. They are responsible for making this video possible, sending over this sample figure here for us to review. And I think there's three different ones in the series. You have this generic figure here in number 18. Could be Slade Bolden if you want to or something like that. But we also have Malachi Moore who's a captain of the defense. And then you have another generic number 18 in a darker skin tone. I do believe that is the only three available they have right now. But I do believe they are trying to obtain other licenses for other colleges and teams. But this is actually something I've always wanted. You know, back in the day we've had McFarlane, we've had the Hasbro starting lineup figures and things like this. But I've always wanted a fully articulated football player action figure because actually not only modern day am I a football coach I also played running back in college and have always been obsessed with the sport so I'm just really excited to mesh you know two of my favorite things on the planet together which would be action figures and sports and everything all ingrained into one entity right here with this figure so a huge shout out to Collegiate Legends this looks like an awesome figure you guys can see the figure in here very good articulation is what it looks like he's got the Alabama uniform on there we're going to take you through everything you have the script aid down here with some silver paneling you have Harvey Studios. Never heard of them before, but let's say Harbinger Studios up here. At the top it says Alabama Crimson Tide. Nice branding logo. Got some officially licensed NCAA stuff going on. You got the Collegiate Legends there. Other side it says Alabama Crimson Tide with their logo, which is a very sweet logo. Other side the University of Alabama and then the same logo. And on the back you have the Where Legends Are Made with the giant script A Alabama Crimson Tide logo and everything like that. No bio read or anything like that, man. But I'm so excited to pop this figure out of the packaging. Find out what he's all about, man. We're going to take you through this entire figure. See how he fits into my collection and find know what these damn figures are all about. So let's take a look at him. So here we have the generic Alabama football player out of the packaging, and holy crap, man, uh, I really, I know I kind of come out, this is just kind of, I always start my reviews off with a generic shot of the figure spinning around on the rotating base, and then I kind of discuss about what I like about the figure initially, kind of my first thoughts about everything getting into it, and my first thoughts are, I, I really, I can't wait to get into it with you, that's what I'll put into it. I cannot wait to dive into this figure, it's actually, I'm, I'm kind of mind blown, I'm kind of mind blown, we're going to dive into everything, man, but what we're going to do is take a closer look at the accessories you get with the figure, and then we'll dive into the Alabama a football player figure himself. Alright man, so getting into the accessories you get with this Alabama football player action figure, you get quite a bit here. Pretty solid, pretty solid. It'd be really sick if it came with the title belt, like the turnover title belt that Alabama uses every time they get a turnover on defense. I think that would be a sweet accessory potentially. But the first accessory we get here is really just a display stand, so it just comes with this generic block of grass or turf right here, and it has the two peg holes for the feet. And the figure, it does plug into the bottom of the figure. It has peg holes on the bottom. And I really like how nice this is. You have this black acrylic sort of glossy outline to the, to the block right there and you can just sit this on the shelf and have him there. Would have been cool maybe if they put Alabama here or an Alabama logo or University of Alabama or Alabama Crimson Tide on this but it's still pretty cool. I like this as a generic thing and you don't even have to use it for this figure. I think this is nice. Has a good texture on it and everything like that and it does have Harbinger Studios on the bottom. Pretty damn talented from what I'm seeing today. And then another accessory you get is the generic football. So you have the laces, you have the skin on there, you have the stripes, everything like that and I really like this. Now I will say one of my only critiques so far in this video is the size of the football. I do feel like the football is a little too small. I prefer to, it to be a little bit bigger, a little bit more to scale, but it's not bad by any stretch. You know, no Wilson, no Nike, no anything like that. That comes with a lot of licensing fees and things like that as well, so making it generic is definitely the way to go, I believe, but pretty nice texture on there as well. Now, into the interchangeable hands that you get with this figure, you do get a right hand and a left hand that are both holding a football, which is very similar to the football that comes with the figure itself. Now, this is pretty cool for your right-handed quarterbacks or your left-handed quarterbacks. Now, the only thing that I would say here is again I think that the football is a little bit too small I think that holding the football this is about the way I'd say you know generically a quarterback or a throw over the ball would probably hold it I think it looks pretty good for the most part I don't hate these and the hand detail is nice I like to sculpt in the hands and everything like that outside of that you have these football carrying style hands that don't have a football now what I mean is when somebody's usually carrying the football unless they're carrying it like a damn loaf of bread the point of the football will typically go between your index and middle fingers right here and I've posed a figure 
figure around and we'll showcase this in some of the articulation and the photography at the end you guys will be able to see how it carries the ball and they do a pretty good job I'd say you can take this football right here that it comes with and you can put it in there sort of like this and for the most part he can carry the ball pretty well so I think that this turns out pretty good he can't really hold it if you let it go but you know he's usually you're holding it to your chest right you're got that five points of contact you're carrying it high and tight the figure will be able to hold the football with these hands I think this is a really good inclusion another pair of hands you get are kind of like stiff arming hands you can use these for stiff arms and they are also kind of like hands on the waist you know like grabbing the waist or you could even do high fives you could do kind of relaxed hands down by your side so there's a lot of usage for these hands as well again I really like the sculpt on these another pair of interchangeable hands you get are the number one hands or the pointer fingers which are very nice and typically in my reviews when a figure comes with these hands we tell them that these are the hands to point at people and tell them to shut the hell up and then what's even cooler the last pair of interchangeable hands you get are fisted hands so you get a pair of fisted hands because you guys know as well as I do you get on the football field you're throwing hands you're beating the hell out of people you're punching them in the face but seriously you do get fisted hands which I think are great I think every action figure possibly should probably come with fisted hands all right man so getting into the figure itself we always start at the top of the head sculpt and I am really blown away by the amount of detail they packed into this helmet right here now this helmet you're looking at as a Revo Speed Flex helmet and they did a pretty good job here I'd say at capturing the details you get the little indentions and the air vents that come in the helmet on the front helmet bumper right here you do have Bama which is accurate the scaling may not be perfect but I think it does look really really good you have the white stripe there I really love the different finishes they've used here across the figure which you'll notice so you do have the clear visor in there and you don't get the little bumps that come above right here that usually poke through but I don't think that's a huge deal in terms of this action figure I still think it looks good with the clear visor another good detail is you actually have like the pieces of the visor that hold it onto the face mask right right there which I think is great all the buckles the straps everything is detailed and actually accurate I think they did a really good job there and I love the gloss finish on the helmet man look at the gloss finish on the helmet compared to the kind of matte finish on the jersey which is very accurate to typical football uniforms especially with Alabama I will say that the number on the side of the helmet you guys will see the 18 right there is a little bit small I think it should be a little bit bigger in terms of scaling but the face mask here in the gray color the chin strap on the back here it even has the crimson tide on the back bumper of the helmet really really nice job right here getting all these details packed in here and one thing about it is you can actually move the chin strap around right here and when you articulate the head sculpt I feel like this helmet could easily pop you could pop this helmet off I really believe you could and I think I may try that if I get some more of these but I really like the helmet detail I think they did a great job here but if we move down and we'll do the articulation of the figure in just a moment some comparisons but do the Alabama jersey and I know Alabama's jerseys don't have the most going on but the typical crimson and white you do have the circle with the script A on the collar which is accurate no Nike swoosh no SEC logo which is obviously fine you'd have to do all the license fees and everything could get a decal made or something which is probably something I may do you have the white undershirt under there biceps and everything look really really good I think they did a good job on the build of the figure and I like how they've made this so what I'm guessing this is is probably an articulated generic body and they took a rubberized flexible version of a jersey and then put that piece and sculpt over this body and then you get some nice articulation there but on the back you have Alabama this isn't a specific player or anything they have done Malachi Moore which we touched on but all this sculpt work right here in the rubber and everything it does look like a jersey a modern jersey over modern shoulder pads I think they did a good job there you can see the undershirt under there got the number 18 the font looks to be pretty accurate to me Alabama just has that kind of traditional collegiate font there and then what I really like right here is they were smart that they didn't do you know like an upper torso and a lower torso because then you would have cut the jersey in half and had the the number would have looked really odd when posing it around so I think keeping this as a ball joint in the waist was genius it's just it just makes for a really aesthetic look I think that was probably the best way to go on top of that you even have like the ball joint on the waist going down to the crotch which allows for a solid ab crunch which we'll get into again but the football pants look good I would have liked to seen a belt on there like having a sculpted on belt onto the crotch and maybe you know different things like that and maybe even using the collegiate logo and I know that the I'm pretty sure the University of Alabama had to approve this figure they had to look at this figure and say it's good so that's probably why they may have tried to put you know their collegiate legends logo here to look like the swoosh or on the pants to look like the swoosh and Alabama probably didn't want any of that if it didn't have the script a or Alabama or generic stuff on it they were like hell no we ain't approving this figure I guarantee that was the case but one thing that I really like that they did right here is they did sculpt on the thigh pad right there and they did it in a way this is really creative and, and very genius here they did it in a way so when you swivel a thigh the thigh pad moves with it so then if you were to do this if they were to move this down it would have been too low and if they moved it up it would have been too high so putting it there halfway and then having it articulated was very genius I think a towel would have been pretty cool like a clip on towel or something would have been cool but I really dig the pants as well got the small knee pads in there nowadays nobody even wears pads on the legs especially in like 
like pro and you know primetime college football. I don't think these stripes are accurate. I think they're supposed to be a little bit thicker, but not the biggest deal. I still think they look good. Then you do have just your normal knees and everything. You got some regular crew socks, and then the cleats look really good. Again, no swooshes or anything, but they still look really, really good. Even have the teeth of the spikes on there, which is nice. Damn, man. They really packed a lot into this figure. It's kind of crazy. Now, I think where this figure really shines is going to be in its fit in hand and its articulation. So starting out the head sculpt, you get a double ball peg. So you have a ball peg on top of the head sculpt or at the top of the neck and then at the bottom and it goes down into this torso. So that allows you for not only to get independent head pivoting and tilting. So you can look, you can pivot the head back and forth. You can look up, you can look down, but then it doubles in the neck. So it's not a ball hinge, it's a double ball. So you can look all the way down, you can look all the way up and you get this head pivoting and shifting right here. So you can do like the Michael Myers side, you can do all this, you can target the hell out of people on the football field. Really immaculate articulation when you get into this head movement. I mean, just look at that, man. You can actually do like, you know, like clucking like a chicken. Very impressed. Now going down before we get into the arms, you do get a ball joint in the waist right here, similar to an AEW Jazzwares figure. And I think that's genius again because you don't cut into the jersey or the full formality of the figure. You do get a little bit of gapping in the back, which I don't think is the biggest deal here. So you can bend down and forward pretty good. You also get a diaphragm to the left and right. Arms do go to about 90 here and down. Pretty much get them to go all the way around, even if it does kind of move that rubber jersey off the top there. Double jointed arm, bicep swivel. You even get wrist swivel and you get the hinge here in the wrist. You do get ball joints in the legs, which allows for an immaculate split and you get a great kick forward. You can kick back a little bit. The crotch piece does interfere right there. Upper thigh cut, double jointed knee, and they're pinless. They're not super stiff like we see with a lot of companies. You do get lower leg shift as well, which I always love. And then you do get a great ankle pivot. You get down and up here. Just an absolute beast of a figure when it comes to posability. I mean, I'm absolutely blown away with how well you can pose this figure around. Now, he can do like the Heisman and things like that, but one thing that I wanted to get into is I wanted to tuck the football away so you guys could see exactly how this goes. So this is kind of the, so this is your carrying football hand. You'll put that in there right there. And then, you know, you will high and tight this right there. I played running back. I coach running back. So take the football. You can kind of place it in his arm right there. And look at that right there. I mean, that's pretty good right there. You know, people talk about the five points of contact. It's hard to like kind of stretch it across the chest because of the football and everything like that. But for the most part, I think there is a butterfly joint in there somewhere. But, you know, close the back door high and tight right there. Look at that right there. I think that looks pretty damn good. And then he can, you know, he can put the arm out. He can stiff arm people, man. Look at that right there, man. Look at that right there, dude. That's amazing. Just incredible. Look at that. He can legitimately do the Heisman pose. So these figures, man, I'm really blown away by it. I, I really have just found myself posing this guy around and it's a lot of fun. I, I just, I got to get the rest of the line. I got to make some customs and stuff because I think this is such an awesome line. But let's get into some figure comparisons here so you can see how it would scale with other lines. So for your Alabama football player figure comparisons, we do have the figure up next to some different lines for scaling purposes. We do have a WWE Mattel Elite John Cena. We have a Hasbro starting lineups LeBron James. And then we do have a Hasbro Marvel Legends Peter Parker. Tom Holland figure, if you will, kind of a civilian figure. And I'd say that these pretty much scale. If I had to say what lines I would see it scaling with, I think that it would scale well with your Marvel Legends, your Hasbro figures, G.I. Joe Classified, any starting lineups figures like that from the Hasbro line. I think the WWE figures, they're a little bit smaller, you know, in scale. I would put these in your six inch scale. I don't think they really scale well with your Mattel figures, but they could still make for some fun action figure photography and things like that. I really am blown away with the figure, and it reminds me a lot of the starting lineups, but I think they're superior. I think that, I don't know if Hasbro could have done this right here. Th this right here is very clever and innovative. I'm completely blown away by what we've seen here. And I'm excited, man. This is one of my favorite action figures that I've received this year. And I don't know how you're going to beat it. I don't I don't know. It just feels that damn good in hand. That's a damn good football figure. But I think that pretty much wraps up this action figure review of this generic Alabama football player collegiate legends action figure. And I'm completely blown away. I'm, I'm blown away to the point where I really, anybody that watches this channel at all, I don't know who's going to see this video that doesn't watch my channel regularly. But if you're a fan of my channel regularly and you know my reviews and how I review action figures and how I critique them and how I like my figures to feel, this one is so damn close to being perfect in my opinion that it's kind of ridiculous. When I unboxed it and posed it around and got to know the figure,
figure here. I was really blown away by everything, man. I really love the attention to detail. The feel and hand that I talk about a lot is superb. It really, it, it just feels so buttery smooth, man. I'm not getting a lot of looseness. It does remind me of the Hasbro starting lineups figures, but I think it feels better than that. It's very similar that way. You know, it does have the ball. It has the ball joint in the waist, which I like. The helmet is so damn detailed, man. You got the Speed Flex helmet. And again, I feel like it could come off and maybe it does. Maybe you could get it off, but I don't want to do it here in the review and end up breaking the figure or something like that. But I am completely blown away by how good the figure feels in hand. This is one of those pieces that I will have on my desk and I'll just pick it up and start articulating it and see what I can do with it because it's that fun of a figure to pose around. And even if you're not a Bama fan, if you're an action figure fan or you're a supporter of my channel or you just want to just check these guys out or see what they're all about, man, you need to give them a follow. And you need to go buy one of these. They're they're really, really special. I think they're awesome. I think they're great. I stumbled across them on my Instagram Explore page, I think. I'm just scrolling through Instagram. I see this action figure of a football player. I'm like, oh my God, is this a dream? What is this? And then I'm like, oh, that's Alabama. And then I see all the details and everything packed in. So I immediately hit them up and wanted to do this review. And I'm so glad that I did. I'm very thankful for this figure and to Collegiate Legends for making this review possible. But I think it is so damn good. It's ridiculous how good it is, actually. I think it's very clever designed. Is it just absolutely perfection without any problems whatsoever? No, I, you know, I, I wish that we could have the Nike swooshes. I wish that it had gloves, like interchangeable hand gloves would be really cool. I think the football is a little too small for sure. I think the football could be upgraded in size just a little bit. I do think that it's a little bit too small in my opinion. Maybe it needs to be a little fatter or something. There's something off right there. I think the decals on the helmet are too small too in terms of the number size. I think the numbers on the helmet are too small. And I think getting officially licensed play players would be really nice. And I know they have Malachi Moore. I would love to see Milrow. I would love to see other top fit. Can you imagine? I could really see a guy like Travis Hunter. If you could get a figure of Travis Hunter made or Shadur Sanders or these really, really popular guys, Ryan Williams. You get some of these figures of, of action figures of superstar football players, college football players. I think you'd really have something. And this figure is really fun. And I know you can capture a lot bigger audience if it's kind of a generic player. And if you guys, and I understand that aspect of it, but these are really fun. And I'm really blown away by these. I think you guys would really enjoy them. If you enjoy action figures or just posing guys around, I've said this on my channel for a very long time that I don't care if the action figure is of a damn table or a stick man or a robot or whatever it is. Now, if it's of something I really like, like wrestling or football in this instance or something like that, that I can really get into or a Marvel Legends style character, you know, a Spider-Man, something like that, then obviously that'll draw to me more. But just having an action figure that feels so good in hand that is very fun to pose around and it has all these small details. And then you throw on top of the fact that it's Alabama and college football and everything like that. It's unbelievable, man. I really like these. Link in the description below to follow them on Instagram and also a link in the description below where you guys can go purchase these figures for yourselves. I do think they just got a brand new shipment in so you guys can get in on that but I think lack of accessories the football size, the decal size on the helmet, interchangeable glove hands, things like that are really the only things that I can complain about, man. And half of that stuff is probably something you could probably customize, but you don't want to deal with those licensing fees and these crazy things. So I understand it. I understand what they were going for here, and I really, really like it. I think they did a great job on these. I'm, I'm honestly, I had no idea coming in. I, I was excited coming in, but I am officially blown away. But that is going to wrap up the review, man. Hope you guys did enjoy. Go check those guys out. They are awesome. Check out their website. Check them out on Instagram. But that is pretty much going to wrap the review, man. Huge shout out to our Patreon members, man. Appreciate you fellas. Thank you guys so very much for everything you guys do for me. I appreciate every single one of you so very much. But that is pretty much going to do it for me, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Let me know your thoughts on these figures down in the comment section below. I will see you guys in the next video. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. Have a blessed one, and roll tide.